Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I'm cold and I don't know if paint is going to be the same way, but I have mixed a bunch of new colors. This has Gakate and... no, excuse me, start again. This has Golden's um, product, which is Magenta, which is about $27 for four ounces, along with some Golden's Pearl Iridescent Fine mixed in to make it shimmery. With the, uh, the rest of the recipe is one quarter polycrylic or poly whatever and three quarters untinted number three base and this is a modern masters this is a few different things so I could get that color this is mica powder I have white mica powder and gold mica powder both of which are on my Amazon link I haven't decided if I'm going to recommend them yet or not the rest of these colors in the small containers are primary elements with the exception of this one, which is a green gold from Folk Art, and it, it's the bomb. It works really well. I've got a few containers around to catch paint in case I have that opportunity, including a to-go container <laughs> with a lid. <laughs> Finally, I figured out what to do with one of those. So I'm going to have to clear some of these things away and bring my pillow paint into the picture. And uh, I have an edge catcher with a piece of sticky wrap on top of it because I still hate wasting paint and I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I also have a couple of lids that for the moment I'm going to rest my canvas on. Bring this back. Bring this to-go container way over here to the left. My left, your right. And my glasses are over there. Ha! Ah. So I really, really, really like using the black paint a lot. Um, but I think for all intents and purposes right now, I'm going to use an edge catcher and do a swipe. And I think because of that, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself all the pillow paint that I need, especially since I expect to be pouring some of it off. Boy, that's a painful process for me every time. So I have both cell activators in the magenta and white and black. And the black I'm really interested in using. Um, uh, where to start? I think where to start is whatever color I want to show up first. I'm not sure yet, and I want to know right now how this mica powder works. So if we see orange at all, we'll know it works. And otherwise, it can be turned into something else. This is a mango, I think. This is from Primary Elements. I think I said that. This is one of my all-time favorite colors, as you guys well know, when, when I'm used to using um, the Folk Art multi-surface acrylic, which is not what this is. And this is a peacock teal, which is a beautiful color. I don't know what the name of it is in Primary Elements. I should have not made that name up, probably. So I did make up my make myself some of this blue and I'm not sure I kind of thought that that might be a cool color to swipe with and then I didn't make it um I didn't make a color that was in the cell activator that way I did make a purple where is the purple purple is right up here cool so this is basically your basic rainbow <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out I'm going to move those back I might want something but I would prefer not to have them close to me because they're kind of expensive to spill and I'm going to go ahead right now and use a heavy dose of cell activator. And what I want to do, and what I can do, <laughs> might be two different things. So I'm going to pull this toward me, and I'm going to put my extra colors that are still in the picture, out of the picture, and I'm going to give a shot to my attempt to save things. And I'm going to move this around for a little while before I swipe it because I can, because I want to, because I don't know how that might work. I haven't blown into anything because I'm not doing the, um, the flower pouring technique. I do love the primary elements. I think I could be pretty happy just using them as they are, not on a pillow of paint. Maybe still a pillow of paint, just pouring medium, that's all. And this way I can see how much of my activator is still activated. And then I'll remember to go back in and add some of this other. 
So I have a really big swipe sheet and I'm not sure I can leave both of these things here while I do this, but I am going to grab some of that cell activator. I'm going to try and move my puddle of paint all the way to the edge if I can. Kind of want to knock that paint right off there because I can, sort of thing. So if I move this out of here, <laughs> I'm done learning. What can I say? Then I can go ahead and go in here again. Put a little pressure on it this time. I'm going to bring that paint right back over here and scrape it off along the edge because that's my MO. <laughs> I just need to do that. What can I say? I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula. I'm going to put that down first. And then I'm going to grab, ouch, sharp piece of paint just went up under my finger, fingernail. Ow, ow, ow. So I got this extra paint here right off my edge catcher and I don't figure it's going to do any harm, any way, shape, or form to use it in spaces that look like they need filling. I know I'm going to tip for sure. That's going in the bucket, just in general principles. I'm going to take my little rests out for now. I'm going to see if I can tip anything or if I want to continue on with my stretching of paint. I kind of want to save. This is the most beautiful part for me. But I like the idea of also being able to get some color over the sides. I feel like I should have a straw in my mouth when I do that. And that might be really helpful. And because I use spatulas, chances are good that I might be picking up some of that paint and putting it somewhere else if, it, if I can get it to go in a nice puddle. Boy, it's really different getting used to the using the house paint. It is, it is. And it's heavy. Really heavy. I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna keep knocking that paint right off in there with my one left my one good finger. I didn't put any gold in there? Wow. Okay, well I really like gold. I'm also going to keep knocking that paint right off the bottom. This is a pretty piece. I might lose that paint I added, which was turned out to be pretty cool even though it was only with a spatula. I am getting the cells I was hoping for. And I'm covering my sides, which is nice. Bonus time. And I'm saving some pretty paint. Oh. Now it's getting down to the point where I'm going to have to decide what I'm willing to give away or waste. But I think I can continue to do this. Boy, the paint in the pan is awesome. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever dry. I'm going to have to use it on something, I believe. Well, the orange definitely worked out. So the mica powder is the bomb. It might not be as shimmery as the primary elements, but um, it's still a good... Whoa, don't drop that. <laughs> It's still a good color. I will be washing my hands off for a while. I definitely have paint that I can put in these spots if I want to. I expect it to keep selling up. I don't mind doing that. I'm going to be cleaning up for a while. I can tell you what. Paint flows to paint, so it's going to keep flowing over the side for a bit. I'm pretty sure. If I didn't like it, I could go back and put some other colors in there right now. Oh, I found a spot that wasn't covered and I'm going to cover it my way. I really want some more black in there, to tell you the truth, but I'm not sure how to get it. Alright, so... There's my poured off paint, somewhat saved. And this is me 
completely messy. I'm going to have a quick rinse in the very cold water. It's 59 in Florida, no sun, and woo! Feels like zero. All right, so do I want to do anything to this? That is the question. And uh, the answer is maybe, but what? I really actually like this a lot. So I guess I'm good with it. I'm going to give it a little torch just because I know it releases cells and I like that. And I'm sure people, there are plenty of people who don't like that. So I understand if you don't. But this is also going to release any bubbles. I think I could have had some darker colors. I think I used a lot of orange. I think I would have liked a lot more of my magenta, but there's time to do another one, so that may be what, what comes next. Especially since I definitely can't, um, well, let me see. You don't know the answer to something? Find out. So that's a very thin layer on there, and now what I want is a big, uh, excuse me, a bamboo skewer. And to see, that's okay. I don't mind that. I didn't mess it up too badly. And the torch didn't really ruin anything. I just, I want some black or some That's the cell activator, which could definitely have been something else, like the primary elements. But being that it's the cell activator, it's activating cells, which is okay with me. I just got to play, you know I do. I got to experiment. I got three minutes left, so it's okay that I'm experimenting too. This is the other black cell activator, which isn't bothering me. I definitely want some of my raspberry, I want to call it raspberry dream. It just makes me happier to have it in there than to not. I know it's all about tipping, but you know, I've got tools and I like using them. And I can use the residual from my skewer right over the edge and it blends in beautifully. You never know unless you play. makes me want gold, to tell you the truth. I really don't think any gold has ever hurt any composition, to tell you the truth at all. I know, I said it twice. I'm playing, what can I say? It's my, it's my M.O. <laughs> I don't give it up easily. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard playing with the Blooming Technique recipes that I gathered from other people and making them my own. Sort of, kind of. Slowly but surely I wish I hadn't dripped that. Never mind. 
and finding out what a skewer will do or not do. I'm not too unhappy with any of that. I don't have any regular black and I think some of it's going to have to come. So I'm just going to use cell activator. Yes, I like that. And I know I can blow on it. I just don't know if it'll work right where it's at. kind of can't imagine it won't. As per usual, I probably should not have torched. But being the paint is so heavy, I guess it didn't really hurt anything. I'm going to wipe off my skewer, steal some of that purple, let it go right over the side, and see if I'm happy with that. And I am. I'm pretty happy with that. Got to be careful not to dig down through the paint because you get that whole layer of white. Wrong end. <laughs> Alright, so whatever I'm supposed to tell you, I've got two minutes to tell you, and uh, everything got wet last night, so I'm going to say that there's a drawing, and if you want, guys want to, ooh, there's a bug too. There's a drawing every month, and you can find out what the prizes are, and the end screens of this video. No, I want you out of there, bug. And, um, <laughs> oh well, that's two for two. It's a flake of paint. I'm going to let it blend in there and then grab it out because I can. Thank you. Oh well, I don't mind. So I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to help me stay on YouTube, watching the video longer is a huge assistance. Uh, it's the only thing that the YouTube algorithm knows. I, I just had to. <laughs> Oh, that thing is still there. I see it. I'm glad I did that. Because it would have dried there tomorrow. So a little signature spiral never hurt anybody. So everything I usually tell you, you already know if you've been here before. And if you don't, then uh, watch some more videos. You can find them on the creative playlists on my channel, where you can also find the PayPal and Patreon icons, and uh, the link to PayPal and Patreon are underneath the video. And those things will allow you to join in the monthly contest, which has eight paintings, a choice of one of the books, or a lesson in Spring Hill, Florida, at my studio with me. Um, I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors, Expressionist Art Studio Totes and more, where the shove no button will bring you to my Fine Art America and Pixels.com, where you can see all kinds of stuff I've been posting since 2013 on everything from a coffee mug to a shower curtain to a duvet cover. And, uh, oh, what else? Teespring is under the video. My paint pouring recipe will be under the video, hopefully, unless I forget. And, um... <laughs> Also, gosh, okay, I'm looking at this right in the face, and it's not the complete list, so I guess I'll just go over here for a second and tell you guys whatever I'm supposed to tell you, which I'm forgetting. <laughs> uh, that's it. I give up. I love you guys. Sorry about the mess around the painting. Um, take care. This is Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida, at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard, saying tomorrow's videos are often on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group or on my community board on my channel. So, take care for now. I'll see you soon. Priscilla, out.